Today, let us take some time to study the Word of God under the title, Guided by the Spirit and the Bride. In other words, this title means, let us now live a life of obedience in accordance with the Word of God. Let us see the words in Revelation chapter 14, verse 1. Then I looked, and there before me was the Lamb, standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a sound from heaven, like the roar of rushing waters, and like a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists playing their harps. And they sang a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn the song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. These are those who did not defile themselves with women, for they kept themselves pure. They follow the Lamb. Who is the Lamb? The Lamb is Jesus. They follow the Lamb wherever He goes. Our thoughts and judgments are important. However, the Bible and the prophets emphasize that we must trust God's thoughts and judgments. Only when we trust God's thoughts and judgments can we follow Him wherever He goes. Doesn't God see the end from the beginning and lead the salvation work of mankind? We must absolutely believe and trust that God's will is preordained and certain, so it will be fulfilled without any fail. That is why Jesus came to this earth to guide His children, who are the crown princes of the kingdom of heaven, not just with words, but through His living examples. Let us see his teaching in John chapter 13, verse 15. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. He said that he set us an example. Then, wouldn't every path that Jesus walked as an example also be the path of faith that we should walk? From praying earnestly, and preaching diligently, to having compassion on those who are in difficult situations, we should learn all these things from Jesus and follow the path He has set as an example for us. Now, let us find out how Jesus showed the example of obedience to His children in Hebrews chapter 5. Let's read Hebrews chapter 5, verse 8. Although he was a son, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and once made, what did he become through his obedience? Perfect. Everyone, in order for us to be made perfect in faith, we can say that the most important thing we need in this process is obedience. Obedience must come from a sincere heart with correct and true faith. If it is done reluctantly with the thought, I don't want to do this, God said He is not pleased with those actions. Instead, let us become the children of Zion who are always thankful and obedient to the guidance of the Spirit and the Bride by thinking, what teachings are they giving us in this age? With this, let me conclude today's sermon. Thank you very much.